Hello everybody, welcome to IdeaWorks Project Brief. If you're watching this video recording, you're probably one of our um, stakeholders or a member of the project team or uh, uh, someone who's, who has general interest in the project itself. So with this initial video, I'd like to give you an overview of what this project is all about. Um, the, um, I'm one of the senior developers at uh, IdeaWorks, the company uh, that has been commissioned to create uh, a 3D virtual space for the student association at the University of Immersive Education. Now, our project charter is basically um, uh, uh, made, up, made up of these major categories, namely our project objectives, and I will go into the details of those very soon, um, an outline of our project approach, and the project team itself. Then um, I will highlight the roles and responsibilities of all the uh, team members, as well as the stakeholders, as well as, uh, and then I will outline high level requirements for the project itself. Of course, um, I'll mention the communication plan, that's um, uh, part of this project, and also the deliverables, what is expected uh, at the end of, at the completion of this project. Uh, look at the ways we, we would like to control change, I don't know if that's possible, but we'll try, and also look at some ways uh, for risk management. And of course um, our timeline, which is basically um, six months, a whole semester. Now I'd like to move on to the next section, the project objectives itself. We've titled the project um, Immerse Yourself, so that we'll be referring to it as this uh, from here onwards. Um, it's uh, three main aspects of this project is basically to create a 3D virtual world in Second Life also to have a website, web presence, and incorporate social media um, into all of these um, builds. This is to create a virtual place for all students of the university, uh, past, present and future. And so it's all inclusive and it will be an open space. It's to provide information and support, especially how to use 3D virtual spaces. Um, a safe environment in which students can relax and um, basically network with each other. So, and emphasis is on that they can access all of these services from anywhere in the world. Moving on to the, the project approach that we would like to um, incorporate in order to complete this project is um, we, we're going to use a um, number of um, methodologies uh, to make best use of the project team and um, management. Um, we will be using soft systems methodology to express the situation uh, for which we're creating the build. So we have a rich picture which I will demonstrate in, in the next video and we also have a root definition. Um, this is just to itemize what, what the customer uh, in this case, the student association would like to see and, and achieve as a result of this build transformation. Um, so, one major aspect of waterfall methodology that we will use is the testing itself, um, and and un the way we will be doing testing will be um, incorporating aspects of the waterfall methodology. But our overall um, Frame, framework is Scrum, which is one of the um, frameworks used agile in Agile methodologies. An Agile uh, uh, framework requires an Agile team, which brings me to our um, last part of this video to introduce you to the team itself. Uh, we have stakeholders, namely the Student Association, who has commissioned IdeaWorks, our team, um, to create this build, and they are their limit. Their budget is one hundred fifty thousand dollars to complete this project over six months. 
we will have student representatives to look at the build and do some testing, um, as well as the tertiary institution itself, um, the University of Immersive Education, based in Wellington, uh, will be paying for the space um, uh, that this 3D virtual world will uh, stay in, so they will also need to pay ongoing rental fee um, in, this, in the future years. The team itself consists of six members. The Scrum Master, myself, uh, will uh, try to facilitate the Scrum process, and I will go into details of that uh, framework in a, in a short time. The product owner is basically the requirements analyst, who will go between the stakeholders, the customers, and the development team, so that we know what the customer wants, and also how the development team interprets that and converts it into that virtual space uh, we will be creating. The development team, the Scrum development team, consists of two 3D graphic designers. Um, one of them is a specialist in creating animations in virtual spaces, and he is based in Fangaray, which is right at the top of the um, country, right by the beach, which is a nice location to be in, I think. The second 3D graphic designer who specializes in creating 3D objects in virtual worlds is based uh, a little bit further south in Auckland. So yes, our team is, is, is dispersed, but um, I will go into strategies to bring everybody together on the same one. Um, our programmer um, is uh, actually on the other side of the country, um, uh, right at the bottom in Dunedin. Luckily, he will have access to Gigafiber uh, as a result of winning um, Gigatown Dunedin. So he will be participating on a very fast internet connection. And our database designer, who will create to you, um, set up user uh, data statistics, um, is based in Wellington, along with uh, myself, the Scrum Master, and the product owner, um, yeah, and the database designer. So the three of us are based in Wellington. The rest of the team um, are scattered around the country. Oh, um, the tertiary institution, Student Association, is also based in Wellington. Thank you.